All right, hopefully this can help you set up the two button system for all of your red toggle switches on the Verpal CM3 throttle. Go ahead and open up the configuration tool right here, wherever you have that saved. When you open it up, it should pull automatically recognize your throttle and it should load in. You can manually load and save right here. Uh, the first thing we need to do is identify which physical or which logical buttons um, are your red switches on your logic board. So right down here you have the VPC Joy Tester. Go ahead and open that. This is going to show you a live view of any buttons that are currently being pushed or held in. Um, one thing to note is that these are not the button identifications that DCS will recognize. This is per your logic board. So right now all of my switches are in the down position. I know that just set on based on my software it's 87, 88, 89, 90. But let's move all of these red switches to the up position. So right now I'm going to switch T1, which is the top right red switch, to up. So 34 went to red, which is means that T1 up is 34, down is 87. T2 is 35. T3 is 36. T4 is 37. And then if I want to identify them in the down position, I can go the opposite direction. can reset here. T1 is 87. T2 is 88. T3 is 89, T3 is 90. Um, it might help you to write them down if you can't remember them. So I'll move this out of the way. We won't really need it again. Go back to our main configuration tool. So over here on the right side, this is where we can edit all of our buttons. So we need to edit going down here to the bottom. 87, 88, 89, and 90, as those were our red switches in the down position. So I'm not sure what the default is as far as the physical button. Physical button is what DCS will recognize as a button push. So I'm going to open up 87. That's a single click. It does nothing. Double click opens it up. So logical name is button 87. That's what the board is recognizing as button 87. I have it. I have mine set to but physical button 41 as 41 wasn't being used. Realistically though, the physical button you can set to any other button any other button number that isn't being used up to 128. Um, I've seen a lot of other people online start at 128 and work backwards. You can do whatever you'd like. I just started at 41. Mode is normal. Shift is off. Uh, if you set this shift to any other S number, that's going to be the shift number that's in, on the mode selector on the throttle body. So if you select it to off, it's always going to remain the same button output, no matter what mode you're in. You can hit save, and then it'll close it out. So in the up position, up here, button 34 for T1. So when I have T1 in the up position, button 34 becomes active as physical button 42. And what that means is in DCS, if I make a selection for a control input and I push the T1 switch up, it'll be set to button 42 from the throttle. When I push it to the down position, this 87 button shows up and then DCS will recognize it as 41. So if I push all of mine, all of my red switches to the up position, you have T1, T2, T3, T4 as 42, 44, 46, and 48. And then when I push them all to the down position, I have them showing up as 87, 88, 89, and 90, which is 41, 43, 45, and 47 respect, uh, respectively. Um, DCS would now see each one of those red toggles as a as one button going up, a different button going down, as opposed to on, off which some modules in DCS don't recognize very well. Hopefully that helps.